Kirk Smith. I live in Athens, Georgia. I'm married to my wife, Jane Smith. We've been married for 36 years now. We met while we were in college together, and that's kind of that's kind of how it how it started. <laughs> <laughs> I was already interested in him too, so um, it all worked out the way it was supposed to. As far as hobbies or sports or time off, that's kind of my weekend getaway. Is There's a great mountain bike riding around here, and it's a way to just get out in the woods and play and act like a, act like a kid. One night, um, I was decided to go for a run after work. You know, I was just doing a two or three mile run just to go out into the day. Couldn't make it through the run. Walked back to the office and drove myself to the ER and walked in the ER and said, I'm short of breath. I'm having sharp chest pain, and of course, you know, they drop out of the ceiling, assuming I'm having a heart attack. ER doc saw something that she did not like and wanted to hold me overnight to have uh, a pulmonologist come in and take a look at it. And the next morning, pulmonologist came in and said, there's definitely something going on. And eventually, we we realized and discovered that I had um, lung cancer. When his pulmonologist gave him the diagnosis of having lung cancer. It was just complete disbelief that trying not to just go into a panic mode. In my head is this cancer that's growing like something in a horror movie and that we need to do something to stop it right away. Um, We were told that they needed to do a biomarker test. And my impatience may be a little bit about let's move ahead. Kirk was fighting to get a port put in so he could start chemotherapy. And our oncologist kept saying, wait just a little bit. You know, we got testing results the day before I was scheduled to have a port put in. And when it came back and she said, you almost hit the jackpot if you can hit the jackpot for lung cancer because um, you have a out positive, a genetic fusion, um, and there are treatments specifically for that. I think as somebody that's benefited from this, from biomarker testing, I don't know that I would be alive now without it. It was the first step in determining the direction of my treatment, period, bar none. You have this greater ability to precisely determine what your treatment's gonna be, all determined by that, that information. It's really remarkable. All the research behind different cancers and treatments is just exploding. And it's exciting to be able to offer these specialized treatments that are usually better tolerated, besides chemotherapy that's one size fits all. And they prolong life longer. You need these tests up front before you can make an educated recommendation to your patient. It's advanced so much from the last time I met with Kurt. It's really changed. I only was able to order two or three tests that we would do for lung cancer, and now I order a full panel of tissue testing as well as blood testing. Being able to offer these treatments to patients to where they continue to live their life and and then now turn into such huge advocates for other patients with the disease is just amazing. I have a friend of mine that said that she saw cancer as my superpower. What she meant by that was you have this disease, use it in a way that you can do things for others, whether that's doing nonprofit work or whether that's conveying this message here to help other cancer patients. Living with this disease for now, 10 years next month, I've learned patience. So what I would say to somebody that maybe is unsure of Uh, biomarker testing, you really, I mean, you just have to be patient. Um, I've actually just recently had a cousin diagnosed with lung cancer, and he's a good bit older than I am and um, was ready just to throw in the towel, and I said, wait for that biomarker testing to come back, and he did, and they they got a hit. He's on his own journey now. You have to know what you're facing, and the biomarker testing gives you that information. If it had been a guess, if I had had that port put in, and was instead going through a, what would have been considered a more traditional chemo treatment, I mean, it was a good good bet that I would not still be here today. Kirk would not be here now if we did not have this product. I don't think you can overstate the importance of biomarker testing for, for anybody that's, that has this disease. I think that's a big part of this message, and I think it's a big part of the advancements in cancer research and cancer treatment. You're still able to live the life you want to live and the way that you want to live it.